Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Riotus tutorial series. In this particular tutorial, we are going to look at creating a project for the very first time. As well, we are going to just export a cube and we will have it textured into Maritis. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to wherever we have uh, extracted Maritis to, then go to bin, run the executable to launch the editor, and then we'll do file new project. Sorry about the error. And then we'll just go to the Maritis folder. And when we're in the root, I'll just call this tutorial project. And I'll name the file, the project file name. Also tutorial project, same as the folder. I'll hit save. All right, so now that this is done, we're gonna open up Blender. All right, now I'm going to hit Shift A, add a plane, scale it 10, move down one. I'm going to right click, Control J to go bind them both. Hit Tab to go into edit mode. Make sure all vertices or faces are selected. And then I'm just gonna do a smart UV project. Okay, now, in order to uh, properly create materials and add textures for Maritis inside of Blender, where you see Blender Render, click the drop down, then select Maritis, and you'll notice that everything changes to better suit it. All right, now note um, 10 Blender units equals one meter inside of Maritis. You should keep that in mind for when you're modeling. Okay. Now you notice our materials prop. Uh, you notice that our materials has changed a little bit. We're going to use fixed mode, which supports up to eight textures. Um, standard mode supports up to four textures, with the first one being diffuse, specular, normal and emission. But we aren't going to be using that for this particular tutorial. Instead, we're just going to use our diffuse. So image your movie. And I'm going to navigate to CG textures folder and I'm going to grab my bare concrete, set this to textured. Make sure we map this to the UV. Okay. So now we have our lovely little cube, um, well, our cube plane textured. Um, in order for this to actually have light, like a, say an ambient light inside of Maritis, um, you can up the emission, but I don't actually like enjoy doing that. Um, I end up just editing the actual material file because otherwise you end up going and exporting it over and over and it's just kind of slow. So export with our mess selected. We'll just dump this to the desktop and I'll just call this test cube plane. And I don't want to export texture or armature information, just the material. Then click export. All right. And as you can see, Oops, sorry. Uh, as you can see, we have our cube, and we're going to want to dump it onto, sorry, into our meshes folder. All right, and all of our textures go in the maps folder. Now, I'm not really sure why this happens, but I'm assuming when Martis exports, it automatically dumps the, by the way, it's just a text file, so you can open it up in any, uh, text header, I just right clicked and opened it up with Notepad++. Um, it automatically uses this file path. Uh, so we're going to want to change this to dot dot oops, maps. This will make it go up and out of the meshes folder and over and into the maps folder. All right. Now we're going to go to Marts real quick, add entity. We're already in the meshes folder for our project. Test cube plane. All right, 
so just like last time, uh, just like last time, uh, middle mouse rotates and control middle mouse pans and middle mouse zooms in and out. All right, so you notice it's kind of dark and black, and we could add a light to. I should switch over to the fixed render. That would be useful, considering that's what we're going to be using. If we remove this light, you'll notice it's still black, but we could keep the light source in if we wanted to. But alternatively, we could go into our testqplane.mesh and we could tweak the emission value. I'm just going to change the emission color to... Uh, I'll just change it all to 1. So we'll get a nice white. And then you'll notice it just updates inside of Martis automatically. All right, so there we have it. We have imported our texture uh, cube plane into Martis. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to stop by the Martis forums or my own forums. Both are in the description as well. Uh, go on and hop on my IRC. If you have any questions, I'll answer them there. And if you'd like, go ahead and follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with when new tutorials will be coming out. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.